Hey everyone, Blue Shadow RP here, and today I'm gonna be giving you all a bit of a channel update for my channel because I feel that I kind of need one. Um, yeah, summer's coming soon and school's starting to a close, so I thought I might as well make another one. And um, I have a couple of things planned and um, a couple of new projects, I guess. Um, so um. What I ask of all of you is that if you could please watch the entire update before commenting. So if you have a question and I might answer it. Or if you still have questions afterwards then you can leave them in the comments below. And then I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, so yeah, without further ado. Um, yeah, before I begin. Um, if you want to grab like a drink or a snack or something. And then just be prepared to listen. So yeah because I'm not really sure how long this is gonna go for so um, the last one I did was probably 26 minutes long and um, I'm re-recording this again because I felt that I did not hit certain points on topics enough so or I did not talk about all the topics I wanted to talk about so yeah I'm doing a re-recording of this so I kinda feel that like I needed to so yeah without further ado I'll get I'll just get on with it um, so the first thing I want to talk about are Papa Louie games, and I am aware that um, Flipline Studios has announced Papa's Cheeseria, which um, I was not expecting Cheeseria because, you know, I mean, what can you make with cheese, but, you know, you see cheese in a lot of foods and stuff, you know, and it's basically just a sandwich in making shop I guess um, where you know you make grilled cheese sandwiches and uh, they and, and on May 5th which was Cinco de Mayo they also announced that you would also be making quesadillas as well so um, yeah once the quesadillas are unlocked I think the majority of the characters are be ordering quesadillas so that was pretty interesting and um, I don't think I've seen anything else announced besides that um, probably a few shop changes and um, and uh, the location of it which is toast wood or something like that which would kind of make sense because you know we're making sandwiches so that kind of fits so um, if that ever gets released um, during the summertime I'm gonna try to put up um, I'm gonna try to put up episodes of that as soon as I can um, probably not as fast as I did for Papa's Donut Area because um, I'm gonna try to make the videos 1080p 60fps just to have you know high quality for it. So um, so yeah, if Flipline, if Flipline Studios ever releases that on uh, in the summertime where I'm free, then uh, uh, feel free to expect that coming to my channel and uh, see how big of an impact it has because you know Papa's Donateria that had a really big impact on my channel uh, Papa's Pasteria not so much since that was like the game area that I was doing when I first started YouTube it came out two months later so yeah when I started YouTube um, but when I did Papa's Donateria though um, I was uploading it pretty fast I don't know it kind of seems that the person that uploads it first or the fastest kind of gets the most amount of views because you know it kind of feels that way to me I don't know but um, yeah that's it for Papa Louie games I guess and um, the next thing I want to talk about is Pop Tropica because um, that is an also, also another big element of my channel um, it's, it's it didn't do as I I would say that Pop Tropica has not has done well as Papa Louie games on my channel, but um they have done pretty well I guess pretty decently I mean a couple thousand views um yeah so whatever Pop Tropica they put out um whatever Pop Tropica puts out um whatever islands they put out I'll definitely make a video on it and um. I also consider playing all the islands for you guys. Um, ex however, the problem is um, why I, why I stopped playing the islands is because uh, Spy Island kind of had like a bug, and then I never contacted Pop Tropica about it. But um, I'm gonna go see if the issue is fixed. Um, it's kind of been a while since I've been on Pop Tropica because um, 
I've just been so busy with school and stuff, so... Yeah. And uh, I think I might as well just uh, redo my Pop Tropica guidebook video. I think I might redo that. Because, you know, I still kind of like the guidebook. I mean, you know, it's fun to go back and read it again. And it also came with a free poster, and, you know, I still have that poster on my wall, so... Yeah. So, um... Yeah, um, if I can if I can get around the bug that was on Spy Island, then uh, I'll consider I'll reconsider putting out me playing all the islands with the sound commentary for you guys. So you know I can play each island, give my thoughts on it and stuff. And um, yeah, just play whatever Pop Chopper has to offer after that, uh, because I heard that Arabian Nights is probably coming out. Arabian Nights episode three is either coming out June or July, either 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 or. So um, yeah, whenever that comes, I'll definitely put out a video of that as quick as I can. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about um, are Nintendo games, because that's also another aspect of my channel. Um, so I've uploaded. Mario Party 10 about a month ago I don't know maybe more than a month and then I also uploaded Mario Kart 8 and I, I apologize if this channel update gets a bit uploaded after you know the last episode of Mario Kart 8 just because I've been kind of busy with school and stuff so um yeah I kind of apologize about that um that I'm not uploading them consistently, just very far apart, not really as fast as I would like to, like day after day. But, you know, I kind of have other stuff that I need to worry about. Um, yeah. So, Nintendo games. I kind of have another Nintendo game that I have in mind that I'm gonna, going to play. Um, well, it's just a random Wii U game, but um, I'm not going to really tell you all what it is yet, but I'm, I guess I'll just keep it as a surprise. Um, and that is coming to the channel soon, so don't don't worry. Um, I'll try to make it a surprise as much as I can. And, um, yeah. So, um, for other Nintendo games though, um, I consider doing Mario Kart Wii or Mario Kart DS when I can get my screen recorder back because um, I did I did I had two emails but I used them both for the trials so yeah I cannot I cannot uh, record on my desktop without you know a screen recording software so until I get that back then I could probably do some you know DS games or or, you know, I can't even do Papa Louie or Pop Tropica if I don't have my screen recorder, so I have to get that back soon. Um, yeah. And, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe New Super Marlboro is, you know, the classic one. It's a game that I grew up playing, you know, I, I even lost it too, so I kind of have to play it on the emulator, so, yeah. So, um, also, uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, New, yeah, New Super Mario Bros. Wii U, um, I haven't forgot about that, um, that will also be up after this channel update along with the random Wii U game that I plan to be playing as well, so don't you worry about that, I've got, I've got that part covered, um, so anything for new projects, well, I was planning to redo some of my Flash game videos. Now, um, some of the Flash games that I'm talking about are The World's Hardest Game, Run, Run 2, um, Hexagon, which is, you know, Super Hexagon, but you kind of have to, like, buy Super Hexagon on Steam or something. I don't even know if they have it on Steam. I don't even have Steam on my computer. Um... You know, just hard games or just, you know, 
actually, you know, some of the games I play are from Cool Math Games, and, that's, and Cool Math Games is actually where I discovered uh, the Papa Louie games. So, and then, like, I just typed up, I don't know, one of the Papa Louie games on video, or not video, on Google, and then, like, that's where I found who created them. It was actually Flavine Studios, so... Yeah, that was pretty awesome, I and mean, you know, um, I might redo some of the Flash games, um, because you know when I did them back then they were like 480p, and um, I didn't really have my Camcasia. I I only had Cam Studio, which was a I would say a pretty okay recorder, but um, depending on what you put the recording height and width to. Um, probably not, it's probably will or will not be HD, depending on the area that you're recording, so, yeah. It didn't really work for me back then, but, you know, somehow I made it work, but it's not really my best work. So, yeah, that's why I plan to redo them. And, um, so, yeah, I could redo them, so that's, like, another thing I could do over the summer. Oh yeah, and most of the stuff I'm going to do is probably going to take place in the summer. Just keep that in mind. Um, so I'm going to be uploading a lot during the summer, kind of like I did last year with uh, Papa's Donutery and some other things. And speaking of other things, I also did random videos. Um, I don't know, just to branch out a little bit. Um, just me doing random things for like a minute or 30 seconds. I don't really know, but um, it's kind of, I guess, a nice way to like break away from like the gaming stuff since you know it's all I do is just like gameplays and stuff so it's a nice way to branch out and um yeah another thing I also want to talk about is live streaming because I have never live streamed before and I never learned how to um it's probably something I'm, I'm probably gonna have to look up because, um, yeah, you need, like, a very good internet connection, and, um, you need to have, you know, you need to practice with it, because, you know, make a few test streams, and, you know, even some of the very good streams, they have, like, a layout and stuff, so, I want to know how to do that, too, and, um, you know, I think a lot of YouTubers, like a, a lot of popular YouTubers, they use software called XSplit and OBS, I believe. And, um, yeah, it's going to be worthwhile trying to figure those out because it's going to take a lot of experimentation and stuff. Definitely. So, yeah, the, my plan for live streaming, if I ever do live stream, it will be just to do like a YouTube live stream first, you know, with Google Plus, and then Lex, I'll take it on Twitch live streaming. Um, yeah, like not until I get a, like a bigger fan base though, because I don't really feel like I have a big fan base for live streaming yet. So, yeah. And also speaking of fan base, um, I've reached one thousand. 350 plus subscribers which I cannot thank you all enough for um it really does mean a lot to me that you guys want to see what I put out and stuff and you know it really does help you know liking the videos and stuff watching them it really does help me and support me and you know gets my name out there and all that stuff so I cannot thank you all enough for it um yeah. I'm not really sure what else to talk about. Okay, I can talk about one more thing. Um, social media. Yeah, I've already talked about live streaming and stuff. I guess that was part of it. But, um, if I'm not uploading, like, for, I don't know, four to five days, then, uh, you can might as well check out my Twitter account. You know, if you like what I do, and, um, you have a Twitter account, then feel free to follow me on there because I'll be t tweeting pretty much every day. Um, I don't know. It's not mostly about my YouTube and stuff. Um, mostly about, you know, videos and stuff like that. And sometimes I just tweet about stuff that's going on with me in general, so 
if you have a Twitter account and you like what I do, then feel free to follow me on there. Um, yeah. And uh, I'm probably, uh, I don't even know if I should say this or not, but I'm actually recording with a different microphone, not the blue snowball this time. Um, I'm recording with a different microphone. The one that I actually first used when I first, like, the one that I, my first microphone that I started YouTube with, I'm recording with right now. I don't know, I think I made it sound somewhat better with, like, you know, if I adjusted the settings, which I did. So I think I kind of made it better with a couple of tests, so. I don't know why I, I wouldn't, I wasn't thinking before with this microphone. I don't know, I kind of thought it sounded horrible. And then I went to go get the blue snowball, but I kind of went back to this microphone, so I adjusted the settings and stuff, and now it sounds excellent. So, yeah. Um, I'm not really sure what else to talk about. Um, not really sure what else. Not really sure. Hmm. Well then. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you all a bit of a quick recap. Um, okay, so Papa's Cheese Rio, I will definitely put on my channel. Um, if it ever comes out in the summer, and I'll try to upload it as fast as I can. Um, yeah, same goes for Pop Tropica. Um, if they ever put like new islands out, I'll try to get those out as fast as well. And uh, I also consider to, you know, uh, do a video on each of the islands, of the past islands. So I'll get that out probably during the summertime when I'm done with school and stuff. And, uh, okay, next thing I plan to redo the Flash game videos. And, uh, yeah, I'll do that as well if I'm ever bored or something. And uh, re redo my Pop Tropica guidebook video. Redo, yeah, redo some of the fan games, the fan games, flash games, and um, um, yeah, do live streaming when I get a bigger audience. And um, what else? What else? What else? I just had it. Drat! I just had it. Okay, I had it. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah. Also do random videos, so like I can branch out more often. Oh yeah, and speaking of branching out, like I don't know, like I don't know if this is sound weird, but you know I play like a lot of different games. Okay, so my audience could be like really different like a blended audience and then like I don't know like some people that would want Mario some people that would want Papa Louie some people that would want Pop Tropica I don't know so and I think it's kinda I'm making it a bit difficult for YouTube to try to find related channels to me since I pretty much branch out to like three different things so I'm not sure if that's an issue or not but um I should probably take into consideration and um yeah oh yeah I, th I also thought of another thing thumbnails I will plan to change thumbnails on my favorite Mario levels videos and also on upcoming uploads if it ever if I ever feel that it needs it um because People that do Papa Louie games, I don't really see them put thumbnails, but they still seem to get like, you know, 50,000 views or something, so I don't think I'll put thumbnails for Papa Louie videos. Um, I will for Pop Tropica and Nintendo games, though. And probably Flash games. So, and, and maybe random videos if I ever get bored, so. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't add thumbnails like you know earlier, but I guess it was I w I wasn't really into it, so yeah, I better get my channel fresh, more fresh and stuff. So yeah, yeah. I don't even know why I say yeah and um a lot. I guess it's just a a working habit or something. I don't know.
something I probably need to change. Well then. So I guess that's it for the channel updates. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a quick recap again. Papa's Cheeseria, I'll get it uploaded in the, if it comes out in the summertime as fast as possible. Same for Pop new Pop Tropica Islands and, uh, uh, you know, game playthroughs of um, past Pop Tropica Islands will come in the summer as well. I will redo Flash games. I will do some random videos. I will redo my Pop Tropica guidebook, you know, looking at. And, um,. I will also continue to put thumbnails on the Mario uh, favorite levels videos and uh, also upcoming uploads as well. And upload the random Wii U gameplay uh, video as well as New Super Mario Bros. U favorite levels. And I think about I think that about does it. So yeah, and of course live stream when you have when I have a bigger audience, so yeah, I think that's about it. So yeah. So if you all enjoyed, please leave a like down below. It really does help support me and support the video. And with that, I'll see you all in the next in the next one. Goodbye.